Section 8.4, trigonometric form of complex numbers. All right, first thing we need to talk about is the complex plane. All complex numbers are of the form z equals a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. What happens is when we look at the complex plane, essentially your a is your x-coordinate, and your b is your y-coordinate. Let's look at example one. We're going to determine the complex number that represents the following points. First thing I would do is go through and figure out the coordinates for all your points. For A, we have 3, 1. B is 4, negative 2. C is negative 1, negative 4. And D is negative 2, 2. We can then go through. Your X coordinate becomes your A. So we get 3 and your y coordinate becomes your b, plus 1 times i, which is just i. So here, a is 3 plus i. Or, we get 3, 1. b becomes 4 minus 2i, which is the ordered pair 4, negative 2. c is negative 1 minus 4i, which corresponds to negative 1, negative 4. And D, we see, is negative 2 minus 2i, which corresponds to that ordered pair of negative 2, negative 2. So just notice how your m complex numbers match up with these ordered pairs. Because in the complex plane, our x-axis are your real numbers and your y-axis is your imaginary numbers. So your real numbers is your a component, your imaginary numbers is your b component of the form z equals a plus bi. Okay, we need to then talk about the magnitude of a complex number, and the notation for that is the absolute values around the z. The magnitude of a complex number is its distance from the origin. So we're going to use the equation from the Pythagorean theorem, where the magnitude of the number equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. Notice since distance is not negative, unless it's indicating a direction, we use the absolute value to give a positive distance. For example, for the complex number 3 plus i, we can see that that puts point A at 3, 1. So our right triangle has a leg of one, or a leg of three and a leg of one. Meaning to solve for the distance, we take C squared equals three squared plus one squared, which equals 10. So C squared, C equals the square root of 10. That is the magnitude for point A. Let's look at some other examples. We're going to find the magnitudes of the following complex numbers. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, for the first one, we have the complex number negative 2 plus 5i. The magnitude of this number is going to be the square root of negative 2 squared plus 5 squared. Because if we were to graph this point, we're at negative 2 positive 5, and to find the distance from the origin, we use the Pythagorean theorem with a triangle of legs 2 and 5. Okay, the magnitude then is the square root of 4 plus 25, which is the square root of 29. And there's your magnitude for negative 2 plus 5i. All right, how about the magnitude for 1 minus 3i? The magnitude of this number is the square root of 1 squared plus negative 3 squared, which equals the square root of 1 plus 9. We get the square root of 10. Those are your magnitudes. So what we've looked at is how to plot complex numbers on the complex plane, and how to find the magnitude of a complex number.